Hey tennis fans, welcome to another Tennis Express Racket Review. Today we're taking a look at the Yonix V-Core Dual G97 Lite. The Dual G97 Lite features some of the latest technology in the industry. These rackets feature Yonix's isometric frame shape to offer the largest possible sweet spot for its head size. With 3D vector shaft, the racket has deeper grooves in the frame to improve racket stiffness and reduce twisting of the frame on impact. This gives you the most precise control on impact as well as the most efficient transfer of power. New for these rackets is the Lock Booster System, which has more holes towards the top of the frame to improve spin. This racket was a lot more up my alley. Um, it wasn't quite as heavy as the heavier version of this racket. Uh, this light version is a lot more similar to my Blade 98 18x20 in terms of weight. Um, that's what really stood out to me. It's still got all that control that I look for in a racket. Um, it's really stable around net. It's a little bit easier to maneuver, like I was saying. So I felt a little bit more comfortable at net with this racket, uh, as well as on my ground strokes and serving, just from a timing perspective. If I were to make this my own personal racket, there's not really anything I would change about it. I'm not a huge fan anymore of full bed uh, synthetic or multi-filament, so I'd probably get a polyester or a mono gut or something like that in there, just to give me that little bit of extra spin from the, the string sliding and snapping back. Other than that, this is a really good racket. Uh, in any intermediate uh, or advanced player would be able to use this since it's a little bit lighter, um, probably a little bit better of an intermediate player, but uh, still, um, this is a little bit broader of a racket than the heavier version. Next up we've got Jolie. I know this was my personal favorite racket of the Dual Gs. What did you think? Uh, I liked it. I thought it was a little light for what I wanted, but I still thought that the control and the power on this racket was good despite the weight. I don't think it would be a good beginner racket just because of the weight of the racket. It is lighter, but I still think for someone who's beginning, they would need a lighter racket. I think 97s in general give you a little bit more control than bigger head sizes, but I thought that I liked the control on this racket a little bit more than normal 97s. I think I like my own personal racket more because of the spin that I get with my racket, but I still thought that for someone who hits the ball a little flatter, they would enjoy this racket more than I did. Next up, we've got Louie. This was my personal favorite racket of the three new Dual Gs. How did you think it fared? I think it fared pretty decent. I like this a lot better than the 100, the 100 square inch racket of the Dual G. I was able to have a short compact swing from the baseline and also my serves and my volleys. It felt pretty solid whenever I was doing my approach shot, but if you're, if you're someone who really likes control, I do recommend this racket for you. With this racket, I don't like it as much as my personal racket because it just la it's just lacking a few things. But for me, to switch to this racket, I would have to add a little bit more weight in the head and also use a gut hybrid on it as well. Ready to make this racket yours? Click the button below to visit us at TennisExpress.com. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with all the latest news and reviews here at Tennis Express.